Hi, in this tutorial we are going to see how to use the Meta Remote for the first time. This video will be split into three parts. In the first part, we are going to see how you can use the Meta Remote to control Blackmagic cameras that are connected to an Atom Live production switcher. The second part will focus on the gimbal side and adding pan, tilt and roll and zoom control to your camera thanks to the middle things APCR and the DJI gimbal. And the third part will focus on customizing the remote controls and expanding its possibilities thanks to the Make Pro X ecosystem. So let's get started. For this first part, we'll assume that you already have your Blackmagic cameras uh, connected to an Atom switcher. Here we have an Atom Mini Extreme and that you are controlling those cameras, for example, through uh, HDMI with uh, Blackmagic uh, Atom software control. Uh, you can use pretty much any Atom uh, from the Atom Mini series to the more expensive 1ME, 2ME, 4ME and uh, Constellation series. So you will start by installing Metal Control software that you can download on uh, the Metal Things website on Windows on macOS. For the purpose of this demonstration today, we are going to stay on uh, macOS. Let's first connect to the Atom. Uh, open up Metal Control. We are going to go into uh, the Preferences tab and set the switcher IP address. If you don't know the switcher IP address, you can go into Blackmagic's Atom setup and it will tell you um, the IP address of the switcher. Once you are connected to your Atom, uh, you can just select a camera number and start adjusting the camera settings uh, this way. So it will send instructions to the Atom, which will then control the cameras. Before connecting the metal remote to your laptop using USB, you first need to install the Glue software by MakePro X. The software will later allow you to configure the buttons and knobs and screens and joystick the way you want. We'll download and install the Glue software. Once it's installed, we'll just uh, run Glue. And here we're going to select uh, download from cloud. So we'll download our custom project. So it's metal control dash one. There you go. And then you just download it and it will uh, put it there for you. So then you just click on it. And now you can connect the remote to your laptop uh, using the micro USB connection here. Now in the Make Pro Devices tab here, you should see your device and it should show as green, meaning it's connecting. And in the Features tab, you should see a green light next to the Middle Control, uh, Middle Things APCR feature, meaning that Middle Control is properly talking to glue. And this is it. Uh, you can now select a uh, camera number here on your remote from one to four, and then you can adjust uh, your camera settings this way. Um, note that you need to have both metal control and glue running uh, to actually uh, use it. You can also connect glue to the Atom, which will allow you to light up the camera selector buttons in green or red, depending on whether the corresponding camera is on there or in preview. Uh, for this, I will just go into the Features tab here and then click the plus button, search for Blackmagic Atom, create a new instance. I uh, will call it just Atom here. OK, close. Um, and then here you set your Atom IP address, you press save and apply. And now you can see that the buttons will um, take the color of the current uh, tally status. So uh, preview program red green. If you want to know how you can set uh, other camera IDs than one, two, three, four, or how you can change the complete button mapping and the remote for the encoders, the buttons and the joystick, check out part three of this video. Now let's move on to adding a gimbal to our camera. In order to do this, a middle things APCR is required to convert the network data into information that the gimbal can actually read using its uh, SBUS or CAN bus input. If you just purchased an APCR and you don't know how to set it up, I strongly recommend you check out our dedicated tutorial on how to use the APCR on the middle things YouTube channel. Uh, the link is in the description. As soon as you can control your DJI gimbal and Blackmagic cameras using uh, metal control software, well, you're almost ready to go. Uh, you just have to run glue as shown in the first part of the video, and then it will automatically connect to uh, metal control. After you've selected the proper camera number here on the remote, uh, you can use the joystick to control the pan, the tilt, and you can also twist the button 
the joystick, sorry, to zoom in and out. Uh, you can also adjust the pan tilt uh, maximum speed with this assigned encoder, as well as the zoom speed here with another encoder. This will allow you to perform a very subtle and very smooth, uh, you know, zoom in and out and uh, pan and tilt like this way. If you need to invert one or more axis, you can just go into glue, uh, you click on the remote, and then you select the little gear icon on the top right. Uh, here, if you go to device, uh, you can set the inverts and the zero zone. So the higher the zero zone, the more you will have to uh, push the joystick to make the gimbal move. Now let's move to our last part, which is about exploring a more advanced configuration of the remote and custom button mapping. So let's start with button mapping. If you want to change which button does what action on the remote, it's very easy. You just open glue, um, you select the middle remote, and then you press on one of the buttons. On the right tab here, you can double click on one of the available settings to map it to the corresponding buttons. And then you're done. What I find really amazing is that MakeProX has built a modular ecosystem, meaning that you can actually create and customize your own remote with the buttons, knobs, and faders you want. And then you can connect all of these uh, buttons to different ecosystems like uh, Blackmagic video equipment, but you can connect other buttons to uh, mixing boards like the Behringer uh, X32 and then other buttons to DMX lighting. It is worth noting that you can totally have multiple remotes connected to glue. However, when used with metal control, you can only control one camera at a time. Now, if you want to have different mappings and toggle between uh, those configurations, you can use what is called a multiplexer. Uh, let me show you. Let's say you have your mapping configured, but you don't have enough space to put all the settings you would like. Well, with these two buttons here, um, I can toggle between one configuration and another uh, for the whole system or just for like two buttons. To set this up, you have to go to the device mapping page here with the device. And instead of selecting the fixed layer here, I will select the first layer of the multiplexer. So let's say I want uh, the focus and the iris to change. Uh, so we'll uh, just um, map these uh, settings here to focus and iris on the first layer. And then on the second layer, I will add the settings that should replace the previous one when I'm toggling. So um, here I am missing black level and white level. So I will just uh, put this here. And then I also want to change the Z axis to um, the roll of the gimbal instead of the zoom. Now I can set uh, button three here to um, select multiplexer layer one and here select multiplexer layer two. So um, as you can see, when button three is selected, I will now have this layout. And when button four is selected, I will have this other layout that we made. And now I know that the joystick um, stick will control the roll. This multiplexer option is very powerful because it means you can control many, many different settings while staying on a very compact setup. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a few things and that this helps you get started with the Middle Things remote. If you have any questions, things that are not clear or issues, feel free to just comment on these videos for others to see or just reach out to support at middlethings.co and we'll be very happy to help. Stay safe and see you soon.